GET OVER HERE! Season's greetings everyone, the Green Scorpion here, and welcome to another episode of Guess That Video Game! This time, the Christmas Edition! Though, to be honest, none of the prompts that we got today really have anything to do with Christmas, but I needed a Christmas special, so here you go. So as per usual, I put up a post on Twitter asking for you guys to give me your best slash worst slash stupidest slash cleverest description of a video game that you can muster, and I picked out the best, I have them right here, and I'm going to guess what video game you guys are describing, so wish me luck. But before we begin, I just want to say thank you all for tuning into another year of The Green Scorpion, as well as your contributions, be they views, subscriptions, patron donations, or what have you. Seriously, The Green Scorpion would not be what it is today without you guys, and I cannot stress that enough. So once again, thank you all so much. And on that note, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, let's get started. Probably an easy one for you for obvious reasons, but screw it. Edgy amnesiac boy and possessed princess who did not ask for any of this, collect way too many swords, kill a lot of demons and ninjas, and travel across the country in a story that I still barely understand. Yeah, to be honest, even after beating and completing the game, I can barely get a grip on that story myself. This is more Amasa the Demon Blade. Everyone says high school is scary. I agree. Glitchy? Not so much. Huh. High school glitchy and scary. My best guess is Doki Doki Literature Club. I think. You literally climbed a rock with your edgy copy just to breathe better. <laughs> yeah, in a way. Clever reference to that little breathing minigame, by the way. This is Celeste. Go to hell! Literally! Inspired by the 14th century bestseller! Oh, this is easy. Dante's Inferno. I actually just watched a video by Overly Sarcastic Productions that goes into the history of Dante himself. I actually recommend watching it, it's actually really cool. Link in the description, guys. A little girl goes up to the attic to read five books about five different people, and a sixth book about all of them possibly dying. The only reason I know about this one is because it was recommended to me so often because I like Muramasa the Demon Blade. This is Odin Sphere. You can race upside down on a course made of cheese. Mario Kart 8. And now I'm being reminded of that one video by Lythero, his Mario Kart Tastrophe where they make a bunch of cheese puns. Ugh, that part made me cringe so hard. There is a name for birds like you. But it's not to be said in the title. Hank! It's your standard medieval questing game! Meet up with friends, get weapons, storm enemy lines, fight bad guys, kiss princesses- Wait, 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 no, 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 not the princess- Little, 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 little. Yeah, in case you haven't already figured this out, this is Castle Crashers. Jojo Ripoff Dominatrix goes to whip old bad enthusiast. <laughs> okay, are we talking the Smash design or the Judgment design? Either way, this is Castlevania. Pomeranians, the kind of post apocalyptic survival game. That is obscure as hell, Wambu. This is Tokyo Jungle. I'm actually kind of shocked you know about this one. And Comic Foil says nice one. Yeah, I agree. Time machine antics ensue and people drink Dr. Pepper. Steinsgate? I'm only guessing Steinsgate because of the Dr. Pepper bit. The time machine antics could literally be any other game with time travel mechanics. It's the dead of night, and someone's on your tail. An athlete, a nerd, a rich kid, and botanist have to team up to escape their surroundings, lest they find themselves dead by daylight. Very clever, I'm going to assume your name is Niles, but this is a really cool description. I want more of these. Thanks in advance for accepting my challenge. No problem, Rodrigo. You try to keep a fifth feeling at bay from spoiling your dream, but by the end, you realize that it's all right to feel sad, and you unveil it to the whole world. Uh, hmm. This could be a few things, maybe, but I've yet to really zero in on it. I'm guessing this is Night in the Woods. I could be wrong, but that's my best guess at this point. Nintendo thinking right now. Did we have a dead racing franchise that's been on hiatus for nearly a decade? 
Nah, probably not. Oh, 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 swag James, that hurts. Ow, no. This is F Zero. Oh, ow. Savage. That hurts, man. Ow. You are the creator. You are God. You make all. You see all. You have no idea what your subjects are talking about. Oh, well played, sir. This is The Sims. You use a megaphone to fight robot bears, abused elementary kids, and the creation of a successor to the ultimate despair in the darkest spin-off ever created. What the heck?! And now I'm suddenly even more discouraged to play this game. I think this is Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. I think. Ugh. In a series of fun, magic, and darkness combined. Here's a random sports game that's honestly not awful. If you ever played this game, what are your thoughts on it? I'm guessing this is Final Fantasy X. And if you want my thoughts on that game, gameplay and mechanics, fantastic. The story is kind of garbage. I like Jack the Norrin though. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! Thank you, Rory. To travel to a new region full of the Celtic spirit. To challenge the undefeated champion and the legion of captains. Facing off against a good friend, new rivals, and figuring out the true history of your home with the your partners along the way. If it wasn't for that small bit of syntax, Rory, this would actually make for a pretty decent trailer script. Anyway, Pokemon Sword and Shield. The President of the United States fights evil aliens with superpowers inside the Matrix. Not gonna think about it. Not gonna think about it. Not gonna think about it. Saints Row 4. A merc, a goddess vessel, a group of royal furries, some kid we pulled off the street, and most likely an employee of airborne UPS wearing an eye patch, walk into a holy bar to kill God. We assume it's a bar to explain how drunk the plot is in the last part of it. <laughs> this is actually one of the most clever descriptions of Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn I have ever seen. Nice one, Gabe. Airborne UPS. <laughs> Thank you for your services, R. British YouTuber's OC is canon now. I don't think I can do a very good Rabbit Luigi impression, and I probably should stop before I insult someone. <laughs> anyway, this is Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. A vacation goes wrong when it becomes a Robin Williams movie. Uh, which Robin Williams movie are we talking here? Jumanji. Okay, as soon as I heard Jumanji, it kind of clicked on me. I think this is Mario Party 7. I think. <sighs> I miss Robin Williams. All right, next we got... Oh, no, 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 this one's terrible. No, this is so bad. No, 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 no. <sighs> Apologies in advance, guys. Dragon tits, dragon tits, it's almost time for dragon tits. Wait, this isn't Fire Emblem this time? Oh. God, this is so bad! Oh, Steven, I hate you, but... Oh my god, this is so clever, but it's so bad! This is Dragalia Lost! Oh god, I feel dirty! Ugh. Let's just move away from that, shall we? You must help a taxi driver get to the hospital, bring the Christmas spirit to a girl who lost her dad... Oh hey, we got the Christmas spirit in here. Help a baseball player get his confidence back and save the world from aliens. Through song! This is a good one, Eric. I like this. And really, this game is just fantastic all around, no matter how silly it sounds. This is Elite Beat Agents. Perry Mason with a lot of high kicks. Uh... There's this game in that in America it's called Judgment, but in Japan it's called Judge Eyes, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, I think that's what this is. I think. Maybe. I wanted a fighting game with a diverse roster of characters. Why is half the roster made up of the same monkey dude? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think the roster is diverse enough, but yeah, even I'm starting to get a little sick of Goku. Anyway, this is Dragon Ball Fighters. Amnesiac frees a quartet of giant animals and his maybe girlfriend with the power of 120 puzzles. You can also fight Evil Incarnate with a spoon if you want. 
I mean, yeah, you can. And that's kind of one of the reasons I love this game. Breath of the Wild. A couple of people with insane powers enter the long night to beat each other up. The villain is crazy as F. Under night in birth? I think? Yeah, that's my guess. I'm gonna go with Undernight in Birth. I'll keep doing these until I get one in. Well, congratulations! You did it, Clint! Silk Yarn Boy travels across the land and we journey with him feeling oddly satisfied the whole way. The satisfaction coming from the ground feeling like pants, maybe? I'm gonna go with Kirby's Epic Yarn on this one. Ride in the mechanical shell of a giant talking flying snail as you cross the world depetrifying animals and solving riddles and rhymes all in a railgun style game where your worst enemies are sentient popcorn bags and salt shakers. Yes, this is real. No, it wasn't made on drugs. Oddly enough, I've seen stranger things when it comes to video games, but I will say this is probably up there. My friend Austin told me about this game. It's called Mortimer and the Riddles of the Medallion. Weird game. E even by video game standards. Okay, this one's going to be interesting. A 90s game where Ultraman and Mazinkaiza clash. And the winner fights either the new Gundam or Metal Gear. Um, I could be wrong on this one, but this sounds remarkably like Super Robot Wars. I'm gonna go with that one. Which has the hots for this elf, who has the hots for a princess, but the witch is actually two people, and time travel shenanigans. Wow, when you put it like that, this game's plot is absolutely freaking stupid. This is Hyrule Warriors, isn't it? Prime Syndicate uses Kidnap Man to create an army of firebending clones only to fail in about three years. Was Kyo kidnapped? Maybe it was. I just don't remember that part. Then again, King of Fighters plot is actually kind of difficult to follow. Anyway, yeah, this is King of Fighters. You're a goddess who was cast out by her other goddess friends. Now awake, almost powerless, and with amnesia, original I know. You must find out who you were, fight and befriend the other goddesses, and confront the one behind it all. Oh, and expect a lot of game references. <sighs> I was never able to get into this series, but that might be because I played the first game and it was absolute garbage balls. Hyperdimension Neptunia. It's time for a biology lesson. A bad lady sets people on fire and turns into a hellish monster with the power of magical cells. You following along, class? This is going to be on the test later, so make sure you take notes. I'm not going to tell you the answer, except I totally am because that's the point of this video. Parasite Eve. Something, something hard, something, something light, something, something darkness, something, something worlds of old and new cartoon movies, and one doofy kid at the center of it all. And most of the series is like this. This post right here is a perfect description of my thoughts on the Kingdom Hearts series in a nutshell. I don't care who you are, Kingdom Hearts plot is stupid. Entertaining? but stupid. And speaking of stupid plots, little and cutie bunnies live poor in a landfill until they see the moon. Now they want to go there using unconventional methods. Yeah, I stand by it. Rabbits Go Home has a really stupid plot. The difference here is that it doesn't take itself seriously. And on a side note, I love your name, Catalina Belen Diaz Oliva. That is fun to say. Wouldn't this make a great tourist attraction? Come see the greatest of all heroes! Oh, and see that dork over there, the one that looks dead and had one eye? That's a would-be hero whom fell during the first charge! <laughs> uh, but he was a great hero nonetheless. Medieval. Love the remake, by the way. And finally... Here's a Christmas song describing this game. Nine rebels thieving, eight grand locations, seven days a week, six in the future, five handsome males, four gorgeous females, this game's three years old, two prison guards, and a cat that tells you to go the fuck to sleep. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, everybody.